Hello everyone. So let me now explain you ketolysis that is how the ketone bodies are being utilized. So in my previous video I have explained you about ketone body synthesis. So if you want to watch that video so you can just click on the right side right corner above which is appearing now. So now let me explain you ketone body utilization. So ketone bodies are synthesized in the hepatocytes under starvation, fasting condition, low carb, high uh, fat diet and all that kind of things. Okay. Now when the hepatocytes are synthesized in ketone bodies, I already told you acetocetate and the beta hydroxybutyrate. These are the two ketone bodies which are there predominantly in our blood. For every one acetocetate, you have five molecules of beta hydroxybutyrate. And I told you acetone is a volatile molecule, so we just exhale it out. So it is having a basically a patient on a person with uh, you know, too much of ketone bodies in the blood will have acetone breath that is the fruity odor to a breath. So that's how the breath smell will be. Anyway, acetocetate that is there in the blood and the beta hydroxybutyrate that is there in the blood coming from uh, hepatocyte. Now this, these two molecules will be taken up by the peripheral tissues. So what kind of peripheral tissues are going to use these ketone bodies? So by estimation, so all the peripheral tissues can use ketone bodies except liver and red blood cells. So liver is going to synthesize ketone bodies, but it's not going to use it. So I'm going to tell you why exactly it's not going to use it little uh, later. Now RBCs doesn't have mitochondria so it, it simply it cannot use ketone bodies. Other than RBCs and the hepatocytes any other tissue can use ketone bodies. So it means only thing is some of the tissues will use ketone bodies as a predominant source of energy. Some of them don't really do not use that much of ketone bodies otherwise technically all the tissues can use ketone bodies except red blood cell and the hepatocyte. Now let's see how exactly Peripheral tissues can use ketone bodies. So let's start with the 3-hydroxybutyrate here. Now, 3-hydroxybutyrate, which is taken up by the peripheral tissue, consider say your brain has taken up 3-hydroxybutyrate. So during that time, 3-hydroxybutyrate is converted to acetoacetate and this job is done by 3-hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase enzyme. So while doing so, 3-hydroxybutyrate dehydrogenase, what it does, it is going to take 3-hydroxybutyrate into acetoacetate where NAD plus is released as NADH plus H plus. So NAD plus gets into the reaction, NADH plus H plus is released. Basically, it's a reversal of what we have seen in ketone body synthesis. In ketone body synthesis, acetoacetate was going into 3-hydroxybutyrate. Now what we are doing in the peripheral tissues, we are taking 3-hydroxybutyrate back into acetoacetate. So what's the point in doing so? So it is the thing is in the peripheral tissue you get NADH plus H plus and if this NADH plus H plus gets into electron transport chain you know it is going to give you 2.5 ATPs that is why this reaction is reversed. Okay once you get acetoacetate what will happen to the acetoacetate? Now the acetoacetate it will be converted into acetoacetyl-CoA in the peripheral tissue. So how the acetoacetate is converted to acetoacetyl-CoA and that job it needs basically acetoacetate it needs CoA being added here. It just needs CoA there. How to get CoA there? So the CoA will be given by a molecule called succinyl-CoA. Succinyl-CoA as you all know this is a TCA cycle intermediate. It has got CoA there. So succinyl CoA in this reaction will be converted to succinate. Succinyl CoA is converted to succinate and CoA is taken from there. So I'm going to round this CoA here. That CoA is added into this molecule here. That is what is the reaction. Basically, you are transferring CoA from succinyl CoA into acetoacetate to make acetoacetyl CoA. Who is going to do this? So this particular job is done by an enzyme called CoA transferase. Very simple name here is CoA transferase. CoA transferase because CoA is transferred but some of the authors they prefer to use different names for this particular enzyme. So what is the different name here? So that the other name for CoA transferase is, I'm going to write that in the brackets here. Other name is acetoacetate acetoacetate succinyl-CoA 
Xenyl CoA, CoA transferase. This is the another name for CoA transferase. We don't remember this name, so because authors they tend to use different name for the same enzyme. So one of the name that I told is uh, CoA transferase. Basically, CoA is transferred, but same enzyme is named as acetoacetate succinyl CoA CoA transferase. There is one more name to this enzyme, and that name is thiophorase. Thiophorase. So thiophorase, CoA transferase, acetoacetate, succinyl CoA, CoA transferase. All these three names are synonymous. It is the same enzyme. What it does is going to convert acetoacetate into succinyl CoA, where succinyl CoA is the donor of CoA, which is coming out as succinate, and that succinate it just continues into TCA cycle. So basically, TCA cycle intermediate succinyl CoA gets into here and go back into TCA cycle as succinate, and you got acetoacetyl CoA now. Once you get acetoacetyl CoA, now the acetoacetyl CoA is broken down into two molecules of acetyl CoA molecule, and that is done by thiolase enzyme. So thiolase enzyme it breaks this acetoacetyl CoA into two molecules of acetyl CoA, and these two molecules of acetyl CoA they will get into individual TCA cycle. One acetyl CoA into one TCA cycle there, and another acetyl CoA gets into another TCA cycle. And in each TCA cycle, you are going to get 10 ATPs from each acetyl CoA. So you get 10 ATPs here. Okay. So like this, we have used 3-hydroxybutyrate into acetoacetate. Aceto while they are doing that, you got 2.5 ATPs there. Now acetoacetate is converted into acetoacetyl CoA by taking CoA from here and then acetoacetyl CoA is converted to two acetyl CoA molecules. Those two acetyl CoA molecules will get into TCA cycle and each of them will give you 10 ATPs. So this is how peripheral tissues, almost all peripheral tissues except skeletal, sorry, except red blood cell and liver, so cannot use ketone bodies other than them. All the other tissues can use ketone bodies. Now, why liver do not use ketone bodies? It's only because liver do not have thiophorase enzyme or CoA transferase or acetoacetate succinyl CoA CoA transferase. This enzyme that is thiophorase here is absent in the liver. That's why liver can only synthesize ketone body. It cannot use ketone body for its own use. It is just giving it to other tissues for the energy purpose. So this is all about ketolysis, that is the ketone body breakdown and utilization of ketone bodies by the peripheral tissues except red blood cell and liver itself. Thanks for watching.